How's it going? John here from Neural DSP, and I want to show you a brand new feature from Core OS 3.0.0, side chaining. In essence, a side chain allows a device to be triggered by a signal at any point before it in the chain. This is such a powerful tool that can help you refine your guitar tones and create unique effects. So let's dive in. Core OS 3.0.0 introduces several new devices with sidechain functionality. These include the doubler and the transparent blend, as well as the plugin doubler and the plugin blend. All other sidechain devices are indicated by an S slash C in the name. These include the Adaptive Gate, Legendary 87, OptoComp, Solid State Comp, the VCA Comp, and the Envelope Filter. So now let's have a look at how to set up sidechaining with one of these devices. Here, I've added a Legendary 87 with the sidechain functionality at the end of the chain, and you'll see that the source for the sidechain is currently off. This is a drop-down menu where you can select the target source for the sidechain. Currently, with the sidechain source off, here's how it sounds. Now, if I select the source to be input one, that's going to be reading input one, i.e. my DI guitar. So now all the transients of my DI guitar signal are gonna trigger the compressor's sidechain. And this will result in that classic pulsing bass sound. Another creative application of a sidechain could be to use it in conjunction with an envelope filter. You might use an envelope filter before an amplifier so that it can read your cleaner, unprocessed guitar signal. And that sounds like this. But now, thanks to sidechaining, we can put an envelope filter after the amplifier and speaker and sidechain it to my input. In this way, the envelope filter is still being triggered by my DI guitar signal, and this has the benefit of improving tracking, but with the filter sitting after the amplifier. So let's hear this for comparison. And this means that we can use the envelope filter at any point of the guitar tone signal path. However, we still retain the clarity of that guitar DI for tracking. Another use of this sidechain functionality may be to improve the efficiency of a noise gate. To do this, I've added an adaptive gate with the sidechain feature at the end of this chain after an amp and cabinet. And similar to the envelope filter example, I've set the target source of the sidechain to input one, so it's reading my guitar's DI signal. By using the noise gate with the sidechain at this way, at the end of the signal chain, it means that the noise gate is triggered by and reacting to the cleanest part of the signal, the guitar DI, whilst cleaning up the entire signal path at the end. And the end result of this is a much cleaner output signal. So let's hear it in context. <laughs> So there's a quick look into this side chaining feature and we're very excited to bring this to you as part of our Core OS 3.0.0 update for Quad Cortex. To find out more about Core OS and Quad Cortex, head on over to neuraldsp.com. I've been John Connor. thanks for watching.